Spotify. Vale. Estamos live. We're finally live. Sí. Okay. Hello everyone. So sorry for arriving late. Um, it's a trend, that it's, name. <laughs> it's it's a trend like with the DeFi. Uh, we are a very reliable company. Reliable on arriving late. <laughs> can count on us being late. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry for arri arriving late. We had some issues with uh, LastPass and Google trolling us and trolling the access. Uh, so in this case, it was not the Chinese factories. Oh, oh. Uh, this. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> More no technical issues. Up. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so what? Thanks for coming here. Uh, we hope you have some great questions. Yep. So maybe uh, while I sort through the questions that I just <laughs> I just sit here, maybe you can show them. You know how we can you can set the different the tenting angles, how the tenting works. Maybe I think this is one the one that looks the nicest. You can unplug it. Yeah, yeah. This is my, this is dun, dun, dun. my DeFi. Yeah. yeah, Miguel has been using this DeFi for uh, uh, quite months, some time. Yeah, yeah. Like a couple yeah. of months at least. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, the tenting. So uh, although we have uh, mixing or co color colors, uh, sorry, leg colors. Obviously, this is gonna be all, all black same. or all white. Yeah, yeah, and this is just the base without the mylar. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like yeah, as as you can see, tested in the data. Obviously, this is a prototype. Uh, from manufacturing. Okay, so uh, I think we've shown this in the past, Miguel, but maybe you can let me know. Okay, so we have a satisfying click. I think we only showed that, but with no sound. So I think we can show the sound. Anyway, it's it's quite nice. And then we, we have, this is quite stiff, and it's really nice to, to move around. And then we have these rods that also are quite stiff. So this is like rock solid. Obviously, <laughs> you cannot see how, how solid it is, but it's it's really nice. So let's put it in the same position. In this case, it's 20. Oh. Yep. And uh, it's really stable. So that would be the way that you can uh, set it up. And, and maybe we can show the differences between the the rods and the legs. Yep. So for example, in, in this one, although uh, yeah, it would be great if you guys could uh, touch it so you could actually feel it. But yeah. we've made some modifications. So, for example, in, in this one, I don't know if we can see it from here, but it maybe you can show the top one, please. Or maybe not. <laughs> okay, so this one, the, the rubber is slightly too large. And when you put it in, there's quite some resistance. And at the same time, uh, the leg is not so, uh, I would say it's, it's a little bit too, too soft. But in this one, when you uh, put the the rod back in the leg it's not so stiff so it's it's nicer and at the same time it's it's really nice uh, to the field yeah one of the things that we've been uh, working on this like i think the legs are the things that we've been working more the last uh, few yeah. weeks the pain the adjustment especially the feeling that that snap that you can also feel here i really like how snappy it is uh, so that's really important. And also, I mean, I think this one doesn't, ha I think that one has the neuron slot, but I'm not sure if it has it. Yep. We've been working on how the neuron slots, but that's the old one. So probably, I think that has some, yeah. David, please, would you mind removing the, thank you. So here you can see how you can slide in the, the new neuron, the neuron two, and this is for the Bluetooth or. Yeah, that's uh, for Bluetooth. Yeah, yeah, for Bluetooth, so it works. Do it again. So here, you can check it. And you also have a satisfying black. So one thing we can do, maybe it's go, while well, people, you know, uh, unshy themselves and start asking questions, maybe we can we can show some of the different items that we've been uh, launching into production or sure. launching the, the first run of production. Uh, for example, one of the things that we uh, finally, look have the final sample are the, the cables. So maybe you want to show them. And yeah, and um, this is the final cable, but we are uh, changing slightly this color that maybe uh, you cannot not see it because of the distance, but uh, the the braided is slightly grayish, slightly silverish, but the the yeah. rubber here is slightly yellowish. Yeah. So we are trying to make it whiter, so uh, a clear white, uh, so it matches uh, better. And you may, say, you may say, but this is so small, this is so tiny, it doesn't matter. 
uh, that's the yeah, my yeah. everyday. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it doesn't matter, but it, it does. The accumulation of, of these uh, tiny things uh, finally uh, makes the product better. So yeah. Uh, I think the other day we were discussing that under some light -like conditions, this cable could be very so slightly purplish. Yes, purplish. Yes. I, I, he only he can see that. <laughs> so they think I'm crazy in the office, but uh, this this may seem silly, but we are matching mixing and matching whites and and grays here because we have the palm pads, the keycaps, the plastic the legs. from the legs, exactly. Yeah. The also the legs, uh, the rubber. So it's like. And on top of that, you have uh, the cable with the braided plus this plastic and so on. So if the combination of, of these colors don't match, then it will look yeah. uh, kind of messy. And if some are cool and some are warm. Warmer, yeah. yeah. More yellowish or more bluish, then the the effect of the keyboard from a visual standpoint is going to be slightly weird. So yeah, uh, more things is that compared to the rays, uh, the shape of these uh, connectors is slightly different. So in, in the rays, uh, they are kind of rounded yeah, here. I think I have one around here. Yeah. And these connectors are slightly longer. Also, the, the cable is thicker than the recent yeah, uh, awesome. cable. Yeah. Well, this is the long one, but yeah. you get the idea. Yeah, I don't know if you can, you can see. Maybe we can get the top camera, please. I don't know if you can see this one. No, no it, it doesn't focus. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah, so it's rounded on, on the bottom part and it's slightly longer. Uh, but to be honest, it's more robust and it's slightly thicker. It feels really premium, like. Yeah, <laughs> it, it does. Uh, something that I would say that I, I like less is that it's less flexible. But this, it's unavoidable because the cable is thick. And the cable is thick because we could not make it thinner. Because of uh, this is a USB-C, you may correct me if I'm wrong, 3.2, I yep. think it is. Yeah, it's, it's 3.2 and it just requires all this uh, wiring and also all the shielding and uh, that makes it uh, thicker. Uh, but to be honest, it looks good. It feels good, it's, it's like a premium cable. So yeah, and it's it, also important it's nice. to reduce, you know, the, to go through all the certifications and to, you know, comply with all the different things. Yeah. Yeah, for the emissions, basically the electronic certification with emissions, it's quite complicated and the cables uh, work as antennas, uh, so uh, makes it even more complicated. And that's because we have both sides of the keyboard and we have the neuron too. And usually keyboards only have one cable, yeah. so they don't experience this situation where you have this triangle of, of cables uh, that uh, yeah, becomes like an the, antenna. Uh, if I remember correctly, the problem, or not really a problem, but the thing is that the two cables that connect with the neuron is where the, the emissions happen. And the normal keyboards, you know, everything happens that within the yeah within yeah, within the exactly. keyboard, so that's shielded by the keyboard, and then you only have the cable that connects the keyboard to the computer. So that adds up to the complexity of making this keyboard being wireless, wired, RF, Bluetooth, and everything, etc. Yeah, yeah, which is driving us slightly crazy. Yeah. Now analyzing it, we were thinking, hmm, <laughs> maybe we over engineer it slightly this product. Maybe yeah. maybe we could have done something easier. But maybe only Bluetooth or only RF like yes. <laughs> other uh, brands do, right? Yeah. Like just one thing at a time. No, we want the three yeah. in the same product. Yeah, and on top of that, the mechanical uh, thing, we integrated the tenting kit, we had to rework the underglow uh, and so on. So yeah, this is my tenting angle. I'm now at 15. Uh, uh, going yes, up slowly slowly increasing. going up i want to go up to 60 i need to try it at 60. Okay. Uh, 60 is an experience right yeah it's 60 like uh, you need a standing desk i think I, or, or just sitting really really high like, i've removed the you know the arms of my chair so mm -hmm. i can sit higher and try it at higher angles but yeah. I need a higher foot rest because I'm fairly short. Yeah, the other option maybe is reducing the height of the desk. Yeah. Uh, so your your uh, arms are kind of hanging because if not, you're going to be sitting kind of like this. Yeah, and that's and pretty uncomfortable. Be uncomfortable. And, but yeah. because the keyboard is like that, yeah. so you go like and then. Yeah, so that's something important is that uh, you need, uh, like everyone uh, that buys the race or in this yeah, case, I think we can, we can even show it, right? We can yeah. tent it and show yeah. you. But basically, you need to be aware that your body posture changes uh, when you tend the keyboard. Uh, if you tend it slightly, obviously the body posture will change slightly. But yeah. the steeper the, the tenting, yeah. And for example, in sixty degrees, you need the palm rest because if not, yeah. your, your yeah. hand your hand is sliding. The palm. Somebody asked on Reddit today or yesterday that are the palm rest critical on, at higher degrees or are they useful? And I said that they yeah, yeah, they're critical. Critical. Yeah. yeah, you cannot. So maybe you can see here like these ones are not the latest one so yeah that you know this is not comfortable you know because your hands are going up so either you 
sit like in a really weird way yeah. or you just have to stand up yeah, or, uh, or, or sit very high. Actually, one of the uh, workers in Digma, uh, uh, some time ago, yeah, he had an accident and he broke both of his arms and, uh, and now he cannot rotate uh, his right hand completely and he uses the race with 40 degree angle and he has the, the race kind of like a triangle and he is sitting like this. Yes. So I would say that for him, because of his body position, how he has adjusted, probably 60 degrees like this is going to be comfortable. Yeah. But, and for but then he will need to you know, lay back and his yeah, and butt will be further. Yeah, and yeah. He, he's like this. He's, yes. saying like, he's like on like, a, spa on like a spaceship. That, yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay. Do so, we have maybe yeah, some questions? questions? Uh, okay. Uh, Dextro, Dextro Chick is asking, does it have reverse tilting? Ooh, do you want to show it? Oh, yes. <laughs> I must say, it not only has reverse tilting, it has reverse tilting plus tenting Ooh. at the same time. So that's really, so let, let's maybe uh, show it. Okay, let's start with the reverse tilting. Sure. Okay. Which is, let me go. This is a real test to, to see if Mikel... If the, if the UX... <laughs> If the UX is good enough or it's too complicated. Yeah, it's okay. So this is the just five degrees reverse tilting. No, I'm sorry. The UX is not. <laughs> Here it goes. A with A. There's some little marks inside that says A and A. So that way. Okay. Yeah, exactly. There you go. And I'll be setting this one. That's five degrees reverse tilting. Yeah, and maybe we can get a, a top shot camera. Uh, I don't know if, if you if you see it, but this little leg here and this one here on five degrees it, it creates the the lowest angle of the reverse tilting. I'm gonna set up Sorry, now reverse tilting. The oh yeah, we can put it like this, so maybe you can see it here. That's the five degrees reverse tilting. Yeah, yeah. So maybe this way you can see that the cable is going underneath. Okay, and that's. 10 degree reverse tilt. Oh, yep. That's 10 degree reverse tilting, pretty much. Wait, maybe we can have it side by yep. side like this. So, and maybe we can switch to the front camera, David, please. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can see it here. <laughs> ah, the left one is the one that it is, or the right one? The okay. Right ah, okay, sorry, right. my bad. <laughs> maybe maybe you as guys see us looking up and down is because we have a screen here in front of us so we yeah. can we can see what we're, what we're doing what right we're now. doing and still we are a bit confused yeah so this is uh, five degrees reverse tilting and that's 10 degrees reverse tilting and you can also uh, do uh, reverse tilting with tenting there's a couple angles yeah you can combine the angles yeah which are let me see it's here so that would be C and then we have to go here there's some little marks that will guide you the process and if Mikel is able to do it then those marks are working if not okay we fail. yeah yeah you don't need, you actually don't need the side legs no you don't need my side. bad yeah so yeah that's tenting and reverse tilting but there's yeah. something oh i didn't pull no it's, it's need, the, you need the yes. one. Yeah. That, there you go yeah so that's okay. tenting and reverse tilting so you can see it from there so yeah. you got like an angle this maybe way maybe and you then, can see it from from yeah. this angle too yeah okay awesome more okay. questions uh more question um okay how honda and video uh, how can i tell whether i have early bird or regular shipping i, I have no clue it's been so long since i ordered so haha <laughs> 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 okay great okay. great question <laughs> great question uh i feel that haha <laughs> in my heart yeah you know? we do and uh, so basically the first people to uh, pre-order on Kickstarter were the early de deliveries. So you have to have been a Kickstarter packer and your um, your pledge should say early delivery defined. It's only a hundred. Uh, if you're early delivery, probably you know. If you don't know, uh, it, it probably means that you're not. That's, but if you want to make sure, you can send us an email to contact arroba <laughs> to at, contact at, at, at uh, <laughs> sorry to contact at digma.com and we can check your order and make sure you know to save yeah, your uh, I think that when you uh, pledge you know what backer number you are doing. yes yes so, but not only if you you can have a backer number 110 is, and still be early delivery it depends on your pledge okay because you know that wasn't available for two DeFi so some people pre-order two DeFi okay because it was cheaper 
Okay. So okay. So maybe there's some kind of complication. Okay. Yeah. So yes. Uh, write to uh, contact at digma dot com or so or your Discord. Yeah. Reddit, Discord. Reddit, yeah. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Uh, there's another question here. I I read it, but I don't find the. Okay. Do you have any of the laser edge keycaps you can show? Yes. Great question. Great question. I will plug this so we can actually uh, because this one is wired. Uh, so. Okay. And that one is. So maybe you can show the black ones and we can show yeah let's yeah let's make it simpler so these are the white ones those are the black ones that's nordic i would say so yeah yeah mm -hmm. and uh this one is english yep uh so i don't know if you want to see them up close maybe i don't know if we have like a proper focus but yeah, but with the camera, probably, probably the ones that you see uh, best are the black ones, and yeah. the light is amazing. If you compare them to the rays, uh, they are much more intense. Uh, yeah, they are. The, the shine through is is beautiful. Oh, yeah, but maybe you can show it to them. But I, it, with this light, it's impossible. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I think it's not yeah. working. Like maybe but we can put my grab my for, phone for, and try for to the next one. We we need a handheld camera. Yep. Let's try. We're gonna try a handheld camera. This uh, is, let's see if this works. This is top technology, maximum technology. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's. Okay, while I'm, I'm gonna ask a question while I try while I try this. Uh, okay. Uh, Armelia asks, why? Ah, I think we answered this question, but uh, why USB 3.2 for the cables? Wouldn't USB 2 work just as well with the added benefit of less complexity? I would love to say yes, but I'm sorry to say no. Uh, we need the three and the 3.0 so the communications work properly and here we have uh, maybe Mikel even knows better than me SPI yeah SPI. we have uh, uh, what's the name of the other one that I'm forgetting right now so be, at the, first the, we do it to yeah, I to C. I to C, exactly, so we yeah. switch from I to C yeah. to SPI and then it's when the cables became yeah. a, a critical part of the of the of the equation yeah actually we passed the certification with the i2c communication with the firmware working with i2c but then uh, when we passed to spi then it was not good enough and we had to upgrade upgrade the the cable to 3.2 and those are changes on the pcbs and small changes to the pcbs yeah yeah but interesting enough i think it's only required for the short ones i think the long one is not required yeah exactly i think, the, I think in fact the long one is 2.0 i think yeah i think it's a regular and that's because uh, well, the, a nice not regular a nice 2.0 cable of, of course <laughs> yes uh, but the the special thing here is that it's communicating with the neuron yeah the neuron just needs an extra help some extra technology uh, to work properly so i think we might have the camera but i need to stop the rotation is that nice I, I, yeah. Okay, Look, let's see. Stair, okay, let's try to focus. It's not focusing. Okay, it's okay. focusing. Yeah. Okay. So here are the white PVT keycaps. Yeah. And here These are, are the laser edge. The laser edge black. Uh, I think the, the lighting is, but you know, there's a lot of light here. You can see our studio. You have tons <laughs> of light <laughs> and you can still really see the shine through yeah. of the keycaps. You know, they're, they look really nice. And even if I unplug it, you know, oh, I think I just killed the camera, my bad. Maybe David, you can switch, thank you. Yeah, anyway, sorry. It, it's fine. Yeah, so if I, even if I unplug it, you know, maybe David, you can switch, you can really see that's a laser edge with nothing below, you know, that's just the black, it's so black because this, you know, you can really see how the light shines through, yep. through the legend. So they're really, really, really sharp. So I leave this camera around here. Maybe that you can switch back to the other one. Thank and you very much. If we need it, we'll we'll grab it. Okay. Uh, uh, glad I paid. Uh, you know, Corey Little got I he says glad I pay extra for the blue. Looks amazing. Maybe we can disappoint her a little bit because that's that's this is I, I'm testing this one because it's a, but we have I'm, a blue. Yeah. Grab. yeah, grab the D5. No, sorry, the race. So actually, this is not the, this is the blue that we disregarded. It's a bit darker, right? Yeah. Um, but it, I mean, that's why I'm using this one because we're keeping the good samples para for history. Para el detalle, el okay, I'm gonna grab the phone. Yep. Okay, so maybe you can see the difference in, in color yeah. with both keycaps. So basically uh, the, the device is darker and 
I, I would say that the new blue is even nicer than this one. Yeah, it's, it's more electric, I would say. Yeah, a little bit brighter. Uh, this one is more, it's kind of darker, but you, you can see even with the foam, the shine of the uh, brush and the color and so yeah. on, it's quite, dif quite different and it's really, yeah. really nice. This one is much darker, yeah. Yeah, so this one is a the the DeFi is a discarded one. Yeah. So I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> the blue is more. It's, it's, it's not it's, exactly like this, but it's, it's similar it's closer, to that one. It's closer to this one. Yes. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna leave my phone. Thank you. <laughs> now we have handheld camera and all. Yeah. Like we, we are improving stream <laughs> by stream. <laughs> Stay, and then for the next time, maybe we can improve and not arriving ten minutes late. Yeah. What, what that do you think? Great. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> Okay, uh, skill point asking, are all the modifications, wireless, tenting, etc., that can be added when buying with keyboard be added at a later time? So it's like, are the add-ons actually add-ons that you can add later? I think that's a question we've answered many times, but Understood. I think it's okay yeah, answering yeah. them again. Do you want to go for it? Uh, sure, of course, yeah. Uh, basically, no. <laughs> the thing is that uh, it's not that easy. It's, it's uh, complicated to install them. It's complicated to ship them. We will have to kind of send you the whole base. So we will make it more expensive. So it would be not work with shipping, with the extra packaging, and with the extra cost of shipping more components than when you actually build it. It, would, it wouldn't make sense financially. Yeah, th this is kind of a design decision in the sense of we've created a very compact, very thin uh, keyboard. For example, with the race, the tenting kit is an add-on that you just attach underneath. Yeah. But the consequence of this is that the, the keyboard grows one centimeter. Yeah, when uh, this it, is flat, completely flat. Yes, yeah, exactly. Uh, you can even uh, compare here from the, uh, I don't know if we can see it from the top, top shot. Uh, sorry, from the front shot. Yeah. Um, it, it's basically the same height, but the Defy has the tenting kit inside. Uh, so yeah, I can uh, bring a, I can bring a keyboard with the tenting so we can see the difference. Yeah, sure. Yep. sure, sure, sure. Yeah, so uh, if we wanted to create add-ons that you could add in this way, then basically what's going to happen is that your keyboard is going to be bigger or larger, and we wanted to bulkier. to avoid that. Yeah, exactly, bulkier. Yeah. So let's compare this. Okay, maybe you can see the maybe difference maybe. difference in height. Maybe if we push it a bit. Backward. That way they'll, they'll see it better if we push it oh. closer here. Yeah. Okay. You see that this has like a centimeter extra height added yeah. because of the tenting kit, and this one doesn't. So it gives you much more flexibility. If you have the tenting kit on your base, you are have you are kind of forced to use it uh, tented. M maybe so. You see, in case it's it's not clear, there's like a finger okay. here. No, no, don't switch to that. No, don't switch. Don't switch. <laughs> yes, just for. I'm using I, it. I'm using it just as a paper, as a ruler. Yeah. So yeah, yes. Yeah, so it's a little bit clearer. So uh, the add-ons cannot be added afterwards because of this design decision, where we yeah. want to have a more uh, compact or th uh, thin uh, keyboard. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a trade-off, but we believe it's a very worthy uh, trade-off. Yeah, definitely. I think I think like for me that I don't like using painting all the time. All in this, like I've been using the, the like back and forth, and then you you can fold it. it it's better to move it in your transport case so it fits better on yeah, the transport fits, case yeah. and you know you can put it flat or if you you're going to lend it to someone who doesn't use tending you can just put it there and it's a normal keyboard it's columnar but yeah yeah okay so one question from Carl Bean Lee is in the FAQ section for the DeFi it's within up to three devices and you can you'll be able to switch switch between them easily how do you switch since there's no physical button example Bluetooth 1 Bluetooth 2 Bluetooth 3 uh, the keyboard has keys, so we can create a combination of keys uh, to do that. So even though there's no uh, physical button not underneath or something like this, like for example with Logitech Mice, uh, for example, where you can press a button and it, it rotates, you can do the same thing, but instead of pressing a special button, you can just uh, press a combination of keys and a or move same. to another layer where you have the Bluetooth keys yeah. or whatever. I mean, probably maybe you, you really need that. You can maybe assign them to somewhere else. Yeah, yeah that, that won't be a problem. Yeah, it's just like any other key in base core that yep. you can configure, same thing. Yep. Okay, uh, so there was one question that just went through and it was like how difficult it is to move from stagger to columnar and then some switch back and forth. This is a, a fairly great, regular great question. question that we get. Yep. Yeah, and actually you've, you've been going through that process uh, through the last month, so maybe you can share your experience. Yeah. So for me, I would say, I always say like going from the I already knew how to touch type. I think that's very important. 
I think if you want to switch to columnar, you all need to know how to touch type. Uh, it's not mandatory, but I would suggest it. Yeah, uh, yeah highly suggest. recommend. Highly recommend it, yes. <laughs> uh, so, and then um, it took me like a month to completely move from one to the other and get my typing speed back and even a little bit higher. I am a bit faster with the Defy than with the race. Uh, so the first week you cannot type like that's I think we say it in a in a video like I'm um, one word per minute and that work is per Felix clap so that's that's it uh, for one week you need to set aside half an hour at the end of your day to start typing start typing uh, next week you're able to type short sentences like fairly but you cannot still work you can maybe work one hour a day with that if you're in a hurry if you're just thinking faster than you write uh, and then third week, yeah, you know, 30 words per minute, 40 words per minute, you, you can start working. And fourth week, you're back to, I make it 60, 70 words per minute. That would be, that would be uh, my average speed. Okay. Um, uh, I would say in my case, it was much quicker, uh, but maybe it's because I, I type more, uh, I don't know, but I would say like in one week, more or less, I was on, on my regular speed. I would say that on the first day I was only having issues with the Z X Z B. Yeah, that's, yeah, the, that, that's the trickiest that, part. That's the one that I was having issues. The rest was fairly comfortable, and in one week I was at my regular speed, and I could transition from one keyboard to the other without much issue. During that's the first days, yeah, during the first days it was more a little bit more complicated, but I didn't feel like a big struggle or very difficult or it took me a long time but i must say that maybe my case it's a bit weird because i have my laptop or my gaming technique where i'm typing in a weird way then with the race i have a touch typing proper 10 fingers without ever looking at the keyboard and so on and then i move into the defy and i kept that uh, touch typing and for me it was fairly easy uh, to transition and afterwards because i felt like okay this is fairly easy then i i moved to uh, to colemac and i made a modification and then it's when um, things went crazy and i had yeah. to relearn how to type and i'm still in that process so yeah i think some people think that it's going to be as hard as learning devorak or colemac and it's nothing no, like no, that no no no, 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 no not at all not it's at not all. Uh, it's not frustrating at all it's actually you're no. Learning. It's yeah. like maybe you are you know how to rollerblade and you are ice skating. Yes, you that, know that, that kind of. That's thing. a that's a good one. Yes, yes. It, it takes a little bit of adaptation, but if you're a proficient touch typer, uh, touch typist, yeah, uh, and then it will be fine. And I must say, it's you know f today I I have switched several times from the race to the defy, back and forth, and it's just like you know yeah, completely it, normal, completely normal. It's just a skill that you learn. I, what I do is have the same layers in both, like the yeah. can say kind of layers things in the same place, because you know it's it's I say it's more difficult to go from the race to your laptop than to the race from the race and the defy. Yes, uh, I would say so. In, in my case, I even have two completely different uh, typing techniques, and for me, the issue is the thumbs, the thumb yeah. cluster. I miss it so much. I cannot use the same typing technique because I go crazy trying hitting the space bar, trying to hit yeah. six different. Yeah, I have keys. the lead. I have the backspace of my thumb key. So yeah, that's for, like, for example. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so yeah, Moni Baksukele was saying that now that I'm used to enter being on my left thumb, I always forget on a standard keyboard. That's something that happens to all of us, you know. Just I keep pressing space for so many things. Yes. And yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so this truck C is asking, what were some of the first thumb key changes addition going from the race to the Defy? Like, what did we put there? Uh, on our from, layers from a from layer point of view or yeah i think from the changes from the layout point of view yeah like what did we change of our thumb keys okay uh, so in my case i haven't changed much what i've done is i've put some low frequency keys that i don't hit continuously or frequently to there but my thumbs on the race are really packed already so i have uh I would need to think, but basically I have on T1 space and shift to layer. On on T2 I have uh, shift. Then this is a, yeah. a weird way of explaining it. Yeah. Okay. So uh, basically I have space and uh, shift to layer. Uh, mean maybe you can shoot, uh, switch switch from, from the top one. Space uh, and switch to layer. Uh, shift command uh, alt and uh, delete as a dual function, and then. I have backspace and layer uh, another layer and I have my main space and then Windows key with an um, 
special Spanish character, and then here I have delete again. So as you can see, I have dual dual functions plus all the keys uh, filled. So th the first thing was moving this one, but then, uh, for example, I usually use enter on the on the race with my pinky on the caps lock key, uh, but that one I've moved it uh, to the uh, to the uh, thumb, and I started moving other, other few keys. But I'm still playing around uh, with it. But I have like ten different keys assigned. One thing we can uh, tell you in advance is that we are working on a base score that you can use without the DeFi connected. So you'll be able to start testing with layers and we'll share with you some of our layers that you can, you know, try. And, and I mean, you cannot really try with the keyboard, but you can start playing. Uh, so we'll, we'll be sharing that with you uh, relatively soon. Yeah, so you can create your configurations, play around and start looking at learning you want to base score. Different, yeah. yeah, different keys and so on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that's going to be something that you might uh, some of you have asked about that uh, yeah. for so long. And I would like to add something that you have eight keys on each thumb it doesn't mean that you have to have eight functions or more in each thumb. Yeah. Not because you have every key, you need to use every key. And uh, just to use an example with a regular keyboard, please. Uh, for example, in my, in my race, uh, I have deactivated these keys here. And so even though I have these physical keys, I never use them on, on the race. And uh, so just to give you an example that because you have more keys doesn't mean that you have to use them. So that you have eight keys on each thumb allows you to find a configure, a, a, sorry, a comfortable configuration uh, for you. So you can have four or five or even three, and that could be uh, good for you. But the keys are located on the right spot. Yeah, for me, for example, can you put the, the top uh, image, David, for a second? For me, I use the top row and this one, like those five, I use them a lot. This I have for secondary functions like moving windows around or maybe changing the LEDs and stuff like that or switching to like a caps lock layer, like a layer that I, where I have on my numpad and whatnot. So those are the ones I use the most, but some other people will reach this one very comfortable. Maybe they don't, don't like the inner ones. That's the beauty of having so many keys. You don't need to use them all, but you will always find, uh, I'd say four or five com really, really comfortable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, with the race, I would say you can find two or three really comfortable per yes. thumb. If you have a very flexible thumb, the inner lower one, you will find it comfortable too, but that's uh, more rare. But the DeFi is designed in a way that four or five comfortable always. Yeah, yeah, that's that's something that, that's the thing that I miss the most when I, there's two things that I miss the most when I have to go back to the race, is the thumb keys are much more comfortable on the DeFi and you can reach so, you know, access so many more layers and, and functions. And then I'm really loving columnar. Like I, I didn't think I would love it. I was just, just trying to try new things. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's really comfortable. Well, going to the previous question uh, related to the transition typing from yep. one to another, the thing that took me the most to adapt to is that the DeFi has an inner extra column. So my yeah, brain automatically, the index, instead of going to F and J, it will go to G and yeah, H all the time. Yeah, that's something if you see, I don't know if you see, but I have that in a different color. Yeah. So my, my extra information to where the home row to the, you know, the home keys are, because sometimes you would tend to do that yeah. because your brain thinks that those that's J Y H N. Yeah. And that's, that's kind of crazy because I never look at the keyboard. Yeah. Like yeah. my, my keycaps are dash keycaps. I, I don't look at it. I just type, you know, but somehow my peripheral yeah, vision I, yeah, see uh, sees, see, sees the shape of the key or something and my hands will will go one unit to the to the inner yeah yeah like on the, the race you would just one in. yeah exactly <laughs> so what i what i did eventually was remove all, all the keycaps in the inner part and so this way my brain wouldn't go crazy and that way i was able to get used to and I w that was actually the, the biggest challenge for me not getting used to the columnar but actually there's one in a row extra my hands would go one unit yes uh, that inward. happened to me too and in fact i have like different colors so and you know they have like a this tells me that I missed up. <laughs> I have my LED next there. So that's, this tells me that I messed up. Okay, wait, so wait, I, I just realized that these keys are not, yeah, I've, okay, they're switched. I, I, don't know, I don't know what has happened here. Oh, but they're not uh, placed correctly. Yes. You're right. Okay, there's a question here, like, oh, sorry. Um, okay, Christian D. The main question, I think, for a lot, what is the exact status of fabrication? Are all now on time or are still chances for further delays realistic slash possible? Okay. Okay. 
Uh, so we just published a Kickstarter update and, and it's in our blog and it's uh, on Kickstarter too. And so for now, we are still on track as uh, three weeks from now, like three weeks ago. ago. So uh, it will be, we are shipping, we will be shipping the first 100 early delivery. Uh, I think that's for, for June, uh, late June and early July. And then the, you know, the, the bulk of the rest of 3000 keyboards that will be late July and mainly August. So some of them, so July, most of them uh, during August and that's still on track. Uh, yeah, so it's looking good, but is there a chance that something that causes a delay? Yes, always there's, there's a chance, but at least for now it's looking good. And also we are sending our electronic engineer to China and also our, uh, Head of product slash manufacturing and also slash Manel <laughs> slash slash Manel. Yes, we are sending Manel again to China and also our supply chain manager that we hired him a few weeks back. He's going to China too, and this is happening during the next uh, couple of weeks, three weeks, four weeks. They're gonna be yeah, so in China. So our electronic engineer will be there mid May when we are making all the like the first run of the PCBs. So we'll be overseeing the assembly and then all the testing. We explain that in the in the update too, and then. Uh, Manel and I thought will uh, arrive afterward to oversee the assembly of those PCBs with the rest of the components that we're making uh, right now, <laughs> basically. Yeah, and uh, and being able to travel to China again, it's, it's critical. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's massive uh, because we like it took a long time uh, to manufacture the race for the first time, and we were able to travel there. Then COVID hit, and we were able to do some remote. Uh, mass productions, but we already knew what we were doing. But the device is a different beast, it's a different thing. It's much more complicated. But now that we are able to travel again, we can speed up the process and make it much more reliable, <laughs> even though it's taking so long. <laughs> so imagine if still COVID was hitting hard, uh, it would be even more difficult. Yeah, I think going there uh, pushes production and, yeah, and you know, accelerates. And make, it's so fast to, there's so little things, nitpicky things at the end that if you need to send a sample, check it, uh, make a report, have a call, make changes um, while you're there, it's like, come on, change that. Change them all right yeah, now, he, change this right now, try it again. Yeah, if Manuel was here, he would tell you that you go to China, you're literally six hours in the meeting, yeah. but you bring the engineers, the, the sales representative, whatever that was talking with you, uh, the CEO of the, whatever, Everybody. you bring everyone, you put all the samples on the desk and you start pointing everything, stickers, drawings, images, videos, everything. And in a six hour meeting in a day, you fix what it would have taken four weeks. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, the online. next day or two days from there, you can go back and check the changes yes, that they made. Exactly. <laughs> in a day or in two days, you can check, uh, check the changes. Usually this would be, uh, they take a picture, they record a video, they send it to you. You ask for the samples, they send them. It take Takes a week a to arrive. Week, yeah. yeah, you check them. Something went wrong. You email them, and so on. This process and makes uh, so slow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I think one other thing we can show that I just remember is uh, this is the inner thing that we're working to fix, and I think it's pretty interesting. Of you know the detail-oriented things that we're trying to fix. Uh, I think yeah, maybe you can see it. Maybe you can show it to that camera, or I can grab my phone. Yeah. Maybe I can grab my phone. Okay, David. Maybe. I don't know if you see it, but I mean, yeah, you see it. Yeah. It has some scratches in the inside. That's due to you know the, the tooling when you mo you know you have to double that. How do you say bend, bend. this? You have to bend this into shape. Then the CNC. There's some cutting. There's a lot of tooling here. Yeah, and the, you, you can you can see this this has been CNC and also here. And also you have these inserts and, and so on. So there's a, a lot of things happening here yeah. and the machine creates these scratches. So we're adding a step to the process that is extra cost, <laughs> but uh, we are to reduce that. Yeah, and, and what we are doing is we are sanding it. Yeah, uh, we are so sandblast sandblasting it. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sandblasting it uh, like here on the edge. Yeah. Uh, the, the top uh, aluminum is brushed. Okay, you can see the lines, but this one is uh, sandblasted similar to, let's say a laptop, yeah. a MacBook or and so on. So we are doing the same inner treatment just to make sure that even the inner part is beautiful. Exactly. Even if you're not going to open it ever, uh, maybe, yeah, you, you can leave knowing that that is nice. Okay. So I put, that, I put this away. I'm going to uh, fold this nicely because if not, Manel will, will spank Miguel. Will what you've done with my babies. Yeah, exactly. My samples. And I think I have something else that we can 
show. Uh, very little things that you know. Uh, this is are the USB A to C, uh, no C to A adapters. So maybe we can show those too. Yeah, but no, no need to switch cameras because yeah, yeah. But basically, maybe we can get the top shot. Yeah. So uh, these are the little adapters. So uh, yeah, they are very minimal, but basically, is to be able to use not only C to C but C to A to A too. Oh yeah, I can run the phone. Give me a second. So this is C to A. Focusing. Focus. <laughs> it's not yeah, working. C to A. This is metallic, and what well, this one silver and this one uh, black. Yeah, as you can see, they're tiny. Yeah, this will be included in in all the devices. Yeah, because the long cable is C to C, and in case you need C to A. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, what Brandon L. Kaplan? Uh, what switches do you guys have in those boards? Could you do a sound test? Describe the sound. So I think <laughs> you, you mean in this exactly once. This is. MX Blue. <laughs> 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 okay, explain me. What's the logic behind this decision? Uh, uh, when Luis uh, Manel handed it to me, uh, it was there, and I was okay. af afraid to touch anything from the prototype. Okay. <laughs> I, I I know the logic behind this. Basically, the logic behind this is uh, when we were assembling uh, prototypes and so on, the switches that we had around. Yeah. Were that the ones that, that nobody uses. Exactly. <laughs> the switches that nobody uses uh, were there. And because uh, we have a few working prototypes, uh, we are we are careful with this. Anyway, here we have uh, uh, Kite Silent Pigs. Uh, I would say more, more much more loved switch. Yeah. Uh, loved by everyone. I must say I'm using this in the office and nobody has killed me yet. <laughs> uh, but this is just uh, respect. Respect, yeah. yeah. Okay. As soon as a small misstep in your work or something, yeah. knowing that you're a Termex Blue user, maybe there's some consequences. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, right now these two prototypes, they don't have the sound dampening solution that is included in all the device, which is a EVA foam and a, and a felt uh, that's uh, adhered to the to the PCB. Uh, I think they sound pretty nice. Like, yeah. uh, maybe you can type a bit. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to type. So, I mean, the loudness of the switch yeah. takes everything, you yeah. know? But yeah, and, and this one, uh, you're not going to hear anything because there are silent switches. Yeah. So you don't hear a thing. No, it, no, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. It, it's really, it's the, the sound is really muted. So. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, there's a uh, Kuro Minolta RR is saying, can you show the stability when tendon? Is there any wobbling? So maybe I can when I unplug this so there's no tension here but maybe we can go 25 degrees 20 degrees a bit is there any angle in the specific that you want for us to test so this is 20 degrees yeah so on regular usage is extremely comfortable and even you can hit it hard on the worst positions that are and with basic. no weight here yeah exactly because that, that your hand actually that your hand or a palm rest is in, in the keyboard helps add on to the stability yeah uh, but even with no hand you can see that it's very stable when your hand is lying on, on the keyboard then it's, it's extra stable yeah i think uh, the only thing that i must say is if you are using 60 degree tenting uh you're gonna need probably a uh, 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 a mat if you don't want it to, if your table is extremely slippery, you might need a mat because yeah. it, it, you won't have wobbling, but you it will. But you may you may push it, yeah. If you, yeah, but that also depends on how you're resting your hands. If you're resting yeah. the hands on the keyboard, and at the same time you're pushing inward, that can happen. And you're using clickies, which are heavier switches, like you mean. Yeah. <laughs> so if you have the whole combo, yeah, then yes, but. Uh, something that maybe to to have in mind when you're using uh, high angles is how how you're moving the the keyboard in the in the desk. So let us let us show you. And something to have in mind that is that this could be a like something annoying is that if you move the keyboard like this, 
Yeah, the, the, the legs will... The, the legs will go inward. But you will never usually push it outwards. Yeah. yeah, so that's something to have in mind that it's not happening on low degrees because on, on low degrees you're sliding it, yeah. uh, right? But when when it's in a very steep angle, like 60, if you move it like this, then the, the little legs will... Like you can see uh, here, I'm pressing really hard and you're not moving it. If I go to a really, really slippery surface, you know, you can see... Maybe, maybe very, you can see... Like I'm I'm like, type, it should, I shouldn't be typing like this, you know, I should be typing like that. Yeah, now you're pushing and now it's moving slightly. And this is a really That's, smooth This is slippery, table. yeah, this is slippery, this. But on and these are <laughs> BMX blue, you know. <laughs> but on a, on a pad, it's not happening. No, uh, a pad is no problem at all. So, and that's only like a really extreme 60 degree. I don't think many, many people were going to use 60. Maybe. I don't yeah, know. Uh, I remember that with the race that we launched this uh, questionnaire yeah. asking people and so on, uh, 40 was the least used uh, angle. So yeah. now that we have uh, up to 60, I would say that it's going to be the even least. It even least. Even least <laughs> used. Uh, only on those scenarios where, for example, you're using a standing desk, where not, not only, but probably mainly on those scenarios that you're using a standing desk, as uh, Mikael suggested uh, before, uh, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so oh, say please show sixty. I think we uh, just we used it. We just did. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, John is saying I'll be moving from the moon lander to twenty five. So excited! Is there anything you recommend in preparing for the transition? I I, I did that transition. In fact. Yeah, actually, you did. <laughs> Probably you're the best person to explain this. So, Mikel, let take, us take know. It away. So okay. so before uh, trying the the. I actually learned how to use a columnar with the moon lander and not with the, the, with the Defy. And uh, I would say for the transition, um, the main difference between the moon lander and the Defy is that you don't have, if you show the upper row, uh, you don't have the modified row that the, the uh, moon lander has. But the thumb kickups, like the thumb cluster for the, of the Defy is, I would say, it, it was a nightmare for me. Like truly, I can only use two on each side and it really, and it kind of hurt. A little bit my finger so uh, for me I would say try to not use a modified row but how are you not going to use it if you don't have thumb keys so i don't think you really need to do anything uh, to move from one to the other once you move you'll need to think about your thumb cluster and the way you're going to need to place your modifiers I, I don't use the modifiers i just use layers so you'll need to think about layers where you, the things that you use with modifiers are yeah uh, Maybe, uh, as you said, that the uh, keys that are missing, but yeah. probably the biggest difference is the upgrade where your thumbs are lying on an area that yeah. you can press keys. And if we had the moon under here, yeah, we, we, we could show you. There. I can show it. Okay, awesome. But basically, something that from an ergonomic standpoint doesn't make much sense. Well, now no, you will see it now that Mikkel is bringing it. Maybe you can give me the right side. Make sure and, uh, that give you we have tons of keyboards here, so uh, if you ask for keyboards, we can show you more. Um, it has the, the tenting kit, but maybe you can use it like that. Yeah. So basically, the, the weirdest thing uh, while testing this was that the, the thumb rests. Yeah, maybe a bit higher. Yep. There. The thumb rests here, where there there's a, a gap and a corner of a key. So the Mulander forces your hand to be in this very open position, but this is not the relaxed position. So I would say that probably the, the adaptation is like you gain this extra comfort where yes. when you rest your hand, the, your your thumb is on, on a position where it can hit a key because here you're not hitting feeling, a key. Yeah. And on top of that, you're hitting this hard edge that Mikel mentioned yeah, that his pinky, for me, his pinky was hurting. For me, my hand, when you move from this key, like the one that I used, this was my space, and then you try to get to this one, which is one the, the other one that I was comfortable using, that the surface is, is concave instead of uh, yeah. instead of convex. Yeah. So, which the, the Defy has convex. Yeah, and even, even, even the, the race has. Yeah, even in the race, uh, maybe you can, you can see. Maybe I can grab my phone, yeah. You can, you can see the shape. Right, it's opposite to the shape of a regular keycap, yeah. and that's made on purpose so your finger can slide comfortably between keys. I'm but doing the top row and the bottom row. Yeah, but, but here, in this case, it's not like this. So opposite. then, your your <laughs> finger, uh, it's kind of 
hitting. Yeah, and then if you compare it to the to the DeFi again, uh, these keys are again smooth, and even we've created this little slope here, so it's extra comfortable to go from the low profile to the to regular. Yeah, key. we have a video about <laughs> about the, all the you know the. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Miguel. Awesome. Okay, so one more question uh, is: Can you order the black base? of the DeFi and still get the light gray carrying case and white cable. I would love this color combination. <laughs> you, t you always li li let me answer the answers that are no, sorry. <laughs> so, so yeah, uh, no, if you want the um, white carrying case, you will need to get uh, the silver base. Yeah, but, but don't tell anyone, but if you send uh, an email to contact and you said that, that the CEO allowed it, yeah, you that you watch the Q and A. Yeah, you watch the, the CEO Q allowed it. <laughs> but please don't tell anyone because then we we'll have uh, too many emails. But yeah. th that's an option uh, because uh, yeah, we uh, can swap it. Around. Yeah, we can swap. Yeah, so it. we can exactly. make some exactly. exceptions. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We we will if somebody asks us asks us. There's too many asks. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody else asks us, uh, we will say that we we will deny this. Yes. But yeah, if you send an email, we can do that. So I say no, and then he say yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I set you up. Yeah, you set, set me you up. up so, me so you up. said no, so I could then arrive. Ta -ta! <laughs> exactly. Yes, so we can save do the day. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, save the day. Yes. Uh, okay, so Jake Rifkin says, "What is your typing speed record on the Digma Defy? Does it improve typing speed?" Okay. Oh, uh, you it, should... in my case, I'm slightly faster. I think with the with the race, uh, I had a type rate of 78, something like that, and with the DeFi 84. But I wouldn't say that, I mean, you type, uh, your average speed is faster. Uh, you make less mistakes, and, uh, and but basically it's much more comfortable. Your pinkies are working less, far less, yeah. you know, like, and uh, yeah, like, and the thumb, you know, you have more thumb keys, you use more layers. Like for example, I started using a layer where I have all my symbols in the home row, like exclamation points, question marks, uh, at, uh, and all that. I didn't use that on the DeFi, on the race, because the thumb key where I have that layer wasn't that comfortable. Now that I have more thumb keys with more layers, then I can start using those layers. And if you do that, you stop stretching to the upper row, and then it's much more comfortable. So I guess the main benefit is not a raw speed. one sentence speed, but you you are able to keep a faster speed more time. Yeah, you better average speed. Yeah, yeah and the, the test that we do is when we are typing, but actually typing is just a portion of we of what we do. Yeah. For example, we do text editing, a for lot. example, yeah. or navigation, or video editing, or whatnot. And that's not something that you're gonna be testing on a touch typing test online. Yeah. But uh, for example, in my case, navigating through text, I do it like. 10x quicker than with a regular keyboard. And here it's not from the race to the DeFi, but this is actually something that allows the uh, multiple layers, the configurable thumb clusters, uh, yeah. and so on. And for me, that's the the greatest uh, benefit of all, how much faster I can edit text and fly through documents. Okay, so we have a question about skill point. So a stupid question, has the DeFi been tested with programmers? This would be my main use for it. So was what was the feedback? Okay, so it has been tested internally, but I wouldn't say it has been tested. Uh, what did you touch? <laughs> like another layer? <laughs> that, that's your configuration, so. Yeah. Okay, now it's back to. Okay. It's crazy. It's going crazy. Yep. Okay. Maybe you can turn it off. I don't know. He decided to. Technical issues. Technical issues. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Maybe you can turn it again. Okay. Yeah, I can try. It should be. It should be going mic. I think it's because my iPad is running out of battery. Right. Anyway, uh, yeah, don't, no, worry. don't worry, it's fine. Decided okay, we, we've killed the Defy uh, live. I killed per the perfect. Yeah, when perfect. we go and talk with Manel, Manel will kill us. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, I guess. Bye, mom. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was nice. <laughs> it, was, it was nice to be here live yeah. uh, with everyone. Uh, okay, get, going back to the, the question. Yeah. Uh, but uh, maybe something that it's quite relevant is uh, we haven't invented columnar keyboards in the sense that columnar, yeah. columnar keyboards have been around for quite some time. For example, uh, Moonlander, Ergodox, etc. And they have been mainly used by coders for a long, long time. The main benefit that we've brought in is a better thumb cluster. 
And this is not something related to coding. This is something related to user experience for everyone. Uh, same with uh, the tenting kit. So I would say that uh, this is an iteration, an improvement from other products that exist in the market. This is not something from scratch. Yeah, revolu uh, completely revolutionary, but I think that so. yeah. yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an improvement. Yeah. And also we've built on top of a lot of testing that we've done with the race. Uh, so I would say that uh, kind of bugs uh, that if this is comfortable for uh, regular users plus the thousands and thousands and thousands thousands of users that are coders using other columnar keywords, the combination combination of our testing plus this. Uh, gives a, a solid foundation. Yeah, and all the extra features, you know, like having all these connectivity uh, options, uh, the underglow with connects with the an, another question that we have here is like uh, beyond. Uh, so it's asked by Himani. So it says beyond the look of the extra RGB underglow, what is the functional benefit? I don't want to pay extra for a visuals, but I also don't want to miss out on any functionality feature. Future in the future. <laughs> I would say that the underglow helps with the learning curve because when you switch layers, yeah, uh, you switch to a layer here, for yeah, example, and you, you have visual visual feedback. And you, you see with your peripheral vision. Yeah. And no, you see it with your peripheral vision, but also something that happens is that the light bounces from whatever objects yeah. you have in front of you. And so the combination of both uh, gives you uh, information about in what layers you are. So I would say it's beautiful at least for me obviously it's beautiful but the functionality is uh, helping you identify in which layers you are when you're learning because once once you've learned to yeah. be honest you, you don't you could, much. you could turn off the lights uh, on the keyboard and you wouldn't really need it but uh, in that learning curve it improves it and it's helpful and on top, on top of that it's beautiful and yeah. well and there's also some some potential functionality like for example battery warnings and yeah. also this like some people have been able to make the RG underglow of the race work with open RGB. So you can send notifications from your computer, like music, and it will move to the beat of your music and stuff like that. Yeah, right? but I would say all that stuff is kind of like extra, yeah, extra nice extra. things because you could have that on the keycaps, on, yeah. on, on the keys on the backlight instead yeah. of on the underglow. So I wouldn't say it's required. So I would say, is the underglow a must to properly experience the keyboard? I would say so. It's not an absolute must. But it helps and it's nicer. Yeah. And uh, um, yeah, I would say the, of the three core features, I always recommend tenting. Like if you only have the money to get one, I would get tenting. Right. In my case, for example, I would get uh, wireless. Wireless. Yeah, because uh, I hate having cables on the desk, and I usually have a pad, a pen, and items, whatever. And I really enjoy being able to move around the keyboard without cables that for me is the, the biggest uh, but uh, from an ergonomic standpoint uh, for sure tempting uh, so yeah okay uh, wow light one says the lane the light indicator of the layer switches seems to be delayed the actual layer switches are still instant I assume is there a latency here it looks like there's a little bit of latency. Yeah, maybe it's because I'm with the iPad, not with a with yeah. a laptop. But, but also, but the, yeah, you but can configure that. But also important, this is not the final firmware yeah. that the product is gonna ship uh, is gonna be shipped with. So there's a lot of things in in the firmware that are not uh, perfect, like it will be in the future. And you, you can configure how fast the whole function triggers. Yeah. And I've been using this keyword, and there's no problem at all and, and how also fast you can move uh, how way. fast uh, visually it's triggered is is that a dual function key or is yes that's a dual function okay, key. okay so a dual function key has a delay because the keyboard has to recognize if you're holding it or you're tapping it but that, for example this is, if, for the, this is a move to layer yeah, exactly. which is really fast oh now i i have a delay. no but, but actually yeah you, you hit yeah. it and it's instant exactly yeah. so uh, basically on the dual function keys and what happens is that because the keyboard has to recognize what you're doing until you don't press the next key you have a little delay like you've seen yeah like uh, exactly and you yeah. can configure that but yeah you, yeah you but, press but for example right now if i press two it switches immediately. immediately yeah because the keyboard recognizes what what you're doing so even though this firmware is not final in this case it's working like the final product so that's fine it's just it's only the lights that are Delayed, yeah, not actually. <laughs> yeah, because we have this wait time where yeah. the keyboard has to listen to the next key press, and if there's no key press, then it assumes you're. All, all my thumb keys are dual function keys, except okay. that one, which okay. I don't really reach. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of like a an extra yeah, thing. It's yeah, for my. One, this one. is my number uh, pad. For, okay, and I have to go back with that one. Okay, uh, so 
Michael Flensburg asks, so are the edge not glowing without the underglow like this? Yeah, if you don't get the underglow, you don't get uh, the the image here. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Any update on the vertical mice? Maybe uh, we can grab. Okay. Any update on the vertical mouse? Sorry. They say. Oh man. I said. Any update on the Mister Device? <laughs> I don't know what happened here. We made a video about vertical mice. Any update on that video? I would make more <laughs> videos about that. <laughs> so any update on the mystery, mystery device? Mystery device. Okay. Any update on the mystery device? So we are working on it, and uh, yeah, no. Yeah, we're working on yes. the mystery device. That yes. I say it's making progress. That's all we can say. And we'll make more videos about mice. Yeah. That's don't don't worry. More stuff will be coming. Yeah. And not, not only vertical mice, also all kinds of mice. Okay, uh, so maybe we can... Uh, we can ask, wrap? Yeah, we can wrap it up. Let's, let's ask a la the last question. Maybe I can switch to my phone now that we... Uh, it seems that we are having some kind of issue with the camera because yeah. we are having only the top shot. Yeah, I think the camera died on I today. It was a bumpy, yeah. a bumpy uh, life. Te technical <laughs> issues. So now we can, we can show the beauty, this keyboard, Anyway, so we have some uh, final questions. Yeah. Uh, okay, no, I think that was, yeah, the uh, yeah. Wall Light asking, with the original intention of your devices, will the DeFi be good for gaming, especially thinking about the columnar stagger? Uh, what would you do with West, WS, Bust? I'll call that in English. WSD. Okay, yeah. Okay, and would you move that to one column? Yeah, Is that the question? That's, a, that's a good question. And we have the, the top shot, so we can show it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, things with uh, the hand positioning for gamers, usually it's uh, moved one unit to the left. That would be fairly weird, to be honest, although you can. Uh, that, that would be uh, possible. And actually, you can use the thumb uh, cluster to uh, this way. But the ideal way if you're uh, getting the DeFi is that your pinky is on the A and your index is on the F. Uh, so, uh, but then you're not using WSD. You should be using E, sorry, ESDF. Yeah. That, that would be the ideal. And that would be the best way. So you can use all, all the thumb keys and you can have the regular experience of, of using uh, the, the keys. So it would be like moving WSD one unit to the, to the right. That would be the ideal. Yeah. You might need to have a layer or, you know, or just remap those on your game, you know, whatever, yeah. whatever is more comfortable yeah. for you. Yeah, so uh, I wouldn't say there's any kind of issue with gaming. It's more no. a user experience from a general point of view, getting used to the keyboard because the, the keys are located in a different place. So when you're gaming, it's basically muscle memory. So you would need to rebuild that muscle memory. But if you're going to be gaming mostly with, you know, what you're, you never move your fingers most of the time you don't move much your fingers from west or, or well it kind of depends, depends on the game depends yeah. on the game you're yeah. gonna be a, a shooter you know you're not yeah, gonna so move your... yeah but let's say that you're playing starcraft or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. then your hands are going crazy all through. over the place yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it will be some uh, getting used to but i think there's no reason why you shouldn't buy if you build like a really big muscle memory playing in a specific game on a staggered keyboard then you might you will uh, need to rebuild it. You need me to rebuild it. Yeah, but the RF mode is thought as a low frequency, sorry, low latency mode uh, where you can game uh, with a wireless keyboard. So even though the DeFi is not considered a gaming keyboard, yeah. uh, the inner technology is it's, like a gaming keyboard. It's gaming friendly. Gaming yeah. friendly. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think we can. Uh, uh, there's our last question. Maybe Orbosphere, can you share any more details on the mouse layer on the DeFi? What key by default enables it and controls the cursor. You can set it up yeah. as you want. The good thing about base core is you can configure it as you, whatever layer, whatever keys. Uh, yes, no. we will have something pre-configured probably, yeah. uh, but uh, I would say that the most comfortable thing would be to hit with a, with a thumb yeah, and hold. then control with the ESDF, for example, or, or in the right hand, it doesn't matter. That would probably be, be the most comfor comfortable thing. The same thing that I would suggest for arrows, basically. Yeah, which and is what of the most of us have. Yeah, so. and, and here, because... Uh, because I think we can see, that's my arrow. So that, those are my arrows. 
so you can do that with the mouse. Yeah, exactly. And it's really comfortable to do this, but it would be really comfortable to do this, and it's really comfortable to do this. So, yeah, uh, you, you you will have plenty of thumb buttons to to accomplish that. Okay. Uh... Okay, we have like one last question from John. Might be too late for on camera. It's not. <laughs> uh, from John, is Bluetooth device switch fast? I have multiple devices I need to switch to on my job, so wondering if I can get rid of the KVM. Yes. You should be able to uh, hit a key combination and change from one to another. Just like industry standard. Yep. And not, nothing new here on the planet. You, yep. you can do that with different devices, with different mice and so on. So yeah, that should be possible. Okay, so I think we can wrap it up here at this bumpy uh, live Q and A. Uh, sorry, sorry for the delay, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, thank you very much for the great questions. I uh, hope you had some fun and uh, uh, had some extra insight on how things are going. And we have to work to not be late the next time. <laughs> yes. So we'll be talking with the crew. So we're not late and our camera doesn't die. Exactly. Uh, but uh, this time we have an extra camera with the Which phone. Which was really nice. So, think, so tell so us if you think that was nice. And we can yeah. keep it. So slowly improving. Anyway, thank you very much. And see you soon. Bye. Bye.